right, everybody. Welcome back to the city, the city of Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Uh, you can't probably tell from the way it is right now, but uh, things are actually getting uh, pretty busy right now in the city. A lot more people are coming back to the office because they feel more confident now since they've been fully vaccinated. I'm not fully vaccinated yet, but I still go to the office. Um, but anyway, yeah, a lot more people are coming into the office. Uh, when I drive into work in the morning, there's a lot more traffic than there was a few months ago. And uh, things are slowly but surely getting back to normal here in the city and here in America. Right now, I'm just on my lunch hour. I'm going off to lunch. Uh, first, I need to go to the post office to, uh, to mail out these letters. Then I'll go out to lunch. And uh, I'll enjoy my lunch. The post office is right over here. It's kind of hard to find it sometimes because there are no signs outside the say post office. At least now, no big signs. There are some little signs on the door. Yeah, that's not it. That office has been closed. And I believe this is the post office here. See? This is the only sign that you can see that it's the post office. Anyway, let's go do the mail. Here we are. This is where we drop the mail. Just drop it in there. Bye bye. All right, let's get out of here. All right, now let's go. We'll get some lunch somewhere. I am kind of hungry. So now. I'm going to go get some lunch somewhere here close to the post office. All right, I think I'll go over here to the uh, Filipino cafe and buy myself some Filipino style spaghetti. Even though I already cooked some Filipino style spaghetti and I have a lot at home, I still want to go to the Filipino cafe and buy some Filipino style spaghetti because that is how much I love Filipino style spaghetti even though I have some at home I'll still go and buy it that's me all right well I got my, my lunch here now I'm going to eat it at the office. Although I could eat it here, but I could eat it out here too. I mean, it's kind of warm though. No, it's not as warm as yesterday. Yesterday it was pretty warm and pretty humid, but today, today is only warm. So maybe I'll just go back to the office and eat it at the office. Three days later. Okay, everyone some kind of event going on today here anyway I'm here at the field to fly my DJI Mavic uh, Mini for the first time this is it right here it's in the case uh, actually I bought it uh, like a year ago or maybe even longer than that and just haven't had a chance to uh, 
unbox it and fly it but but now I feel like flying my drone and I'm going to go to the middle of the field over here to fly my DJI Mavic Mini for the first time so let's do it okay now I'm in the middle of the field here got my phone and I'm going to go into the DJI Fly app which is the, the app that controls this drone over here okay so let's start flying There's my drone. Oh, there's my drone, as you can see. I've been trying to uh, control it so it does a circle and all that, but uh, but it's not doing it, as you can see. See? There's my drone. There's my controller. I'm trying to control it so it does one of these circle features, but it's not doing it. There's a long lag between uh, the time I make my command here and the time the drone actually does it. I don't know, maybe it says here this place is a little bit, uh, this place is a little bit uh, restricted. Maybe that's the reason. I should find another place where it's not too restricted. But let me try another, another one of those quick shots. I tried the circle shot and hopefully that turns out well. Let me try the, uh, I mean I tried the droney shot and that turned out, hopefully that turns out well. Let me try the uh, circle shot and see what happens. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of lag here. I'm on, I'm in a field here, and there's a lot of lag. When I press the control on my controller down there, on this controller here, it takes a long time before it responds, uh, if it does at all, because at, most of the time it won't respond at all. So I don't know, maybe if it's, I'm in a big giant field here, I don't know why Maybe it's a little restricted, I don't know. But let me try it again. I just uh, reset my phone and reset everything and let me try again, okay? But this time, from this side, because I was flying it from that side, but uh, I'm gonna try it from, uh, from this side. There you go. Took a long time to take off. Same thing here, the lag is pretty bad. The controllers work, but as far as the uh, the connection with the uh, with the Wi-Fi and the app, it's pretty bad. Look, I'm frozen in there, I'm frozen, see? So it doesn't really matter. Okay, now it goes, yeah. It doesn't really matter where I am, I can go over on this side. And there's still a lag here, I can't even, figure out where I am here. I can turn it around. Now it's landing. Look at that. Right at the home point. But according to the uh, the app, it's still landing. See that? I don't know what's going on here. Just a lot of lag, I guess. Let's try to take off again and see what happens. See if it responds quickly. See? Takes a long time. Maybe because the battery is low. It's not even turning on. Oh, maybe. There you go. That took a long time. That took a long time to respond. And now the battery is low and uh, this is my drone everyone, my DJI Mavic. And uh, let's see if we can go higher with the control. There you go. All right. Yeah. The control works fine. It's just that the app 
the connection to the app is bad. You know what I'm saying? I gotta fix that somehow. Right, let's try a return to home, see if it'll work. To return to home, we need to press uh, the return to home button here on the left. See, I did that and then it's still there. It should be coming back closer now, but to land on my uh, on the home point, which is this point right here. Oh, it's landing now. Look at that. It's landing now, but not in the home point. See that? Critically low battery now. And then it stops, but it missed its home point right over here. Oh. It missed it missed it missed its home point right there. Look at this dog here. This dog is just kinda it came aim over the end. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it missed missed the home point by about 10 yards. Because the battery is low. As you can see, critical low battery. Well, the first flight was kind of weird. Not really successful. But maybe because there's a lot of interference here with the Wi-Fi, there was a huge lag between uh, when I would control it and when it would respond. There was a very long lag. And uh, maybe it has something to do with this area or something. But tomorrow I might have to find another place to fly where there's not much uh, interference. Uh, from everything but now I'm just gonna pack it up and uh, try again tomorrow recharge it tonight and then try again tomorrow yeah well all in all it's a weird it's kind of not successful and successful first flight I mean the flight itself was pretty pretty good pretty smooth I mean it's somewhat of a windy day and it just kind of it the it the flying was steady and smooth and uh, the controls were nice and steady and smooth but the problem was the uh, the the connection the Wi-Fi connection or the uh, the data connectivity with the app there was a long there was a big uh, big lag and that was the problem I couldn't I couldn't use all the special features like the uh, like the quick shot I was able to do one quick shot but that was it and uh, the response, the lag was so bad that with the other quick shots, it wouldn't even respond. With the one quick shot, it responded after like uh, 10 seconds. And that was the one quick shot that I got. And then I'm gonna, you know, upload it tonight and show you. Well, here it is now. was the one uh, quick shot that I was able to get uh, out of uh, I tried many times but but I couldn't do it anyway tomorrow I'll try somewhere else where hopefully the lag isn't so bad uh, maybe it's just this field maybe it's just this location but the lag is bad all right well I'll see you tomorrow then the next day okay so the next day uh, I'm in a different field this time. Hopefully, there won't be too much interference. Uh, okay, let's try to take off. Okay, here's the drone over here. And let's see if we can take off. There you go, up we go. Yeah, I've been trying a drony, but uh, it doesn't work. I've tried it so many times, but it doesn't work. Maybe interference from all these poles, as you can see. Uh, let's see if we can return to home on this thing. Let's see, I gotta press return to home. Oh no, not that. Oh, it doesn't... Uh, it'll just land. It, it's not returning to home. I mean, look. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta...
There you go. See, now it's landing, but it's not landing at home. And there you go. Good landing, but just not at home. There you go. That's my second time flying my drone. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I still can't get the, uh, I still can't get the quick shots to work. The circle doesn't work. The droney doesn't work. The uh, the rocket doesn't work. I can record while controlling it on my own, but but there's a terrific lag between the shot and the video on my phone, and I really can't see where I'm going. Maybe it's because I live in an area that is uh, very uh, uh, not urban. I mean, very, uh, yeah, very urban. As you can see, there's a lot of power lines around here. And uh, yeah, maybe if I go to an area that isn't too restricted, maybe I can make it. Anyway, I'm still trying to learn how to fly this drone at least. I'm able to do uh, some video, some longer video this time. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see how it turns out. One hour later. Okay, now let's go across the street over to the, uh, to the shopping center over here. See what we got. A place to have lunch and a place to maybe hang around and all that. We'll see how it goes. All right, I'm back at the dollar store here. I wanted to go to the post office, but the post office is still closed while my car is being serviced. And uh, a lot of good deals here at the dollar store. A lot of things you might need, things you might want here at the dollar store. I don't know, I don't know what else we got here. All right, I'm back at the dollar store here while my car is being serviced. And uh, here at the sock section, look what I found that look at this that's some mr spock socks it's not just mr spock they have they have they have captain picard here and of course captain kirk it's only a dollar each what do you think i think i'll buy uh i think i'll buy captain kirk and Mr. Spock. Let's see what movies are selling here for a dollar. Uh, never heard of any of these movies. Breakpoint. Breakpoint? That's like Point Break but backwards. About a tennis, about a movie about the tennis. Uh, Weirdsville, I never heard of that movie. Scott Speedman, Taron Manning. Uh, 
see what else we got here. Any movies I have heard of? Here's something I need. This is a snake. I've been having problems with my HVAC drain pipes. Maybe the snake will do the trick. I'm gonna buy the snake here. I also need these extra long tie downs. Because I've got uh, tie downs that are about this long, but I need it this long. You know, that's pretty long. How long is that? That's 16 inches. That's very long. That's what I need. Extra long tie downs. See, I can use this as a display case for one of my uh, one of my figures. Well, uh, I guess that's about it for the dollar store. Got a good haul here, look. I always get a good haul here every time I go to the dollar store. All right, that's it for the dollar store. Let's go to the post office here to see if I can uh, mail out something that I need to mail out here at the post office. Let's see how many people. Oh. oh, they already got a good line over here. Look, they got Star Wars stamps. Look at that. These are mostly droids. They got the two main stamps there, R2-D2, 3PO, and some of the lesser known droids around them. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go. Let's just stick around and hang around here for a while and relax. Because it'll take a while before my, it'll take a while before my car is done. I think they said uh, about three hours. It's only been 30 minutes. So I think I'll just hang around here for a while, just relax and chill and take in the sun. Okay, my car is still in the shop, so I'm kind of just walking around the area, going to the dollar store and buying some stuff that I need, and going to the post office to uh, mail some things that I needed to mail. Now, it's uh, almost lunchtime, almost, not really about 11 so maybe I'll go and find somewhere to uh, to eat some lunch because it's almost lunch time here anyway you hear that noise that chirping noise that's all cicadas and cicada season you can hear them you can hear them making their noise in the air there's a lot of dead cicadas here, look. There's a dead cicada. Not sure if that one's dead. There's a dead and mangled one here. Well, here's one still alive, look. Just crawling around, look. That cicada is just crawling around. Yeah, if you guys remember the, uh, the last cicada invasion, which was about uh, 17 years ago now, I remember that was uh, that was worse than this. There were cicadas flying around everywhere, getting into people's hair, and getting underneath women's skirts. 
this cicada invasion isn't isn't too bad. This guy made a U-turn, I don't know why. Anyway, let's go look at this trail here. I wonder where this trail leads to. Wanna check out this trail? Look at this. Look at that trail. Let me go down this trail and see where it leads to, man. Never been to this place back here. Usually I stay over by the, uh, by over there by the commercial side while my car is being worked on, but thought I'd explore this side. And uh, there's a lot of nice places to hang out here. Look at this place. I've never been there before. I didn't know this was here. See, there's a little lake here and there's some benches by the lake where you can hang out at. Huh. Nice place, huh? I think I'll hang out here for a while.